Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to be playing a Doki Doki Literature Club mod, which which I made. It's called Sayori Says No to Suicide. Um, it's a sort of public service announcement against depression and suicide. That's, that's an issue that's interest to me, and I wanted to write about it. So yeah, I, I wrote I wrote this and coded it and um, used artwork from the community. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. <coughs> oh, um, I'm going to be tour music. That's how I roll. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Hi, everybody. It's me, Sayori. And today I want to talk to you about an issue that's very important to me. Uh, Sayori, who are you talking to? I'm the only one here. I'm talking to all our viewers at home, silly. You know, the people playing this mod. Oh, we're breaking the fourth wall now. Come on, Tormius, work with me here. Just pretend we're a streaming YouTube video or something. And you can be my cameraman. Except you are the camera. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, hi, everybody. I awkwardly wave at myself. This feels weird. It's not weird unless you make it weird. Fine, but what are we doing here? Is this like a public service announcement or something? Yeah, but call it a PSA. I want it to be—I want it to sound more official. Is that why you're wearing your school uniform in your bedroom? Yeah, that. And because I can only do my special pose while in the I, while in my uniform. This game has no art for this pose in my casual outfit. Seems like a silly reason to me. Maybe so. But I look so cute when I pout like this. See? Uh. Anyway, I'll get this thing started now. Today we're going to be talking about suicide! Yay! That doesn't sound, that doesn't seem like something to be happy about. Sorry, sorry, I, I've just never done this before. I guess I'm a little excited. <clears throat> As you all know, the story of Doki Doki Literature Club deals with depression and suicide, and about halfway through the game, I, uh, well, I kind of kill myself. Sorry, spoilers! They've obviously already played the game, Tormuse. Who would play a mod for a game before they play the game it's based on? Sheesh. Anyway, that part of the story is really sad. And I guess it's one of the reasons people make mods for it, because people want to save me. Thank you for that, it's super sweet of you. I'd give you all a big hug if I could. I wasn't stuck here in this game mod. Ugh, don't remind me. Oh, sorry Monica. Where'd that voice come from? That was Monica, she's my stage manager. This is an important issue for her too. Yeah, I still feel bad about what I did to you, Sayori. I hope this make helps make up for it. I told you it's okay, Monica, I forgive you. In fact, it's better this way, because it gives us the chance to help others. Because there's an important lesson to take away from playing this game. And that's how to handle it if you meet someone who is suicidal in real life. I mean, it's great that you want to save me. It's flattering, really. Even if I don't really deserve it. Hey, come on, you totally deserve it. Aw, thanks. Even if you're kind of a dummy. Eh? Mimi? Siri sticks her tongue out at me. Anyway. I'm hoping that you can all learn to deal with this kind of situation better, because, let's face it, the way Tormuse handled it was, um, maybe not the world's greatest way to handle it. <laughs> Are you saying I sucked at it? <laughs> no, j just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to yes or no question. Anyway, <laughs> Tormuse means well, and he was doing his best to be supportive in the only way he knows how, so I can forgive him for his mistakes. <laughs> but I'm hoping we can all learn from that experience and do better. Hey, I thought I did pretty good. Hermes, I want to be nice here, but remember that after I told you I've had depression my whole life, the first words out of your mouth were to tell me that I had betrayed our friendship by not telling you sooner? No offense, but that was kind of a crummy thing to say. Like, I just told you I feel bad, and your first reaction was to make me feel even worse? Well, I just, I don't know, it came out wrong. I didn't mean it that way. I just felt bad I didn't know sooner. I know, I know, like I said, I know you mean well. But I just finished telling you that how worthless I feel, and how hard it is to even get out of bed in the morning. It would have been nice if you had immediately started talking about your own feelings. Okay, fine, but what about the other stuff I said? I said I'd support you. I said I would do everything I could to, so you wouldn't feel any more pain. That's gotta count for something, right? Support is great. Support is awesome. But as for the rest of it, well, that's not really how depression works. It's not something you can just cure. It's not something you can expect to go away. It's something that the depressed person has to manage day by day, finding ways to not let it affect them too much. And just like anyone else, they have good days and bad days. Only, the bad days are kind of extra bad. There are definitely things you can do to help, but you can't make yourself responsible for how the depressed person feels. You'll just burn yourself out. It might make you feel good or even heroic to say you'll make their pain go, go away forever, but it's just not realistic. Well, how was I supposed to know that? <sighs> you're lucky you're so cute. What was that? Nothing! It's okay that you didn't know, Tormuse, but that's kind of extra reason to get me professional help. I mean, you said yourself you didn't understand what I was feeling, so it was actually kind of dangerous for you to tell me that you knew what was best for me when you really had no clue. Don't make me depend on you to do the right thing if you have no idea what the right thing is. It might have made you feel good to say that, 
But you really should have sent me to someone who knows better. Oh, well, when you put it that way, I guess you're right. Well, I feel like crap now, I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 I don't mean to make you feel bad. This just means you have the chance to learn something new. And that's a good thing, because learning is fun. Yay! Okay, great. Well, maybe you can help me understand something then. I mean, you said you were depressed. I thought that just meant that you were sad. How was I supposed to know it was that serious? Aha! I'm glad you asked that, Tornadus. The answer is that there was a very important question you forgot to ask. What's that? Are you thinking of killing yourself? Huh? Seriously? Yep. I'm just supposed to come out and say that. That's right. I don't know, I think it would have felt weird to ask you that. Well, tough. Go ahead and feel weird. It's the first step in maybe saving someone's life. So, like, I'm just supposed to walk up to you and say, Hey, sorry, how are you doing? Oh, by the way, are you thinking of killing yourself? <laughs> well, maybe not like that. I'm sure you could have found a way to work into the conversation. Like, back when I was telling you about my depression, I was saying some pretty harsh things about myself. Like how worthless I am, and how I felt like the world was punishing me. I just said I felt like a spear was going through my heart. Well, you were exaggerating. <laughs> well, it's true, I could have been exaggerating. I know I do that a lot, but I also talk about how hard it is to do really basic things, like get out of bed, make friends, or even eat. And come on, I love eating, you know that. These are all pretty strong clues that I could have been suicidal. So any time during that conversation would have been a good time to ask. Oh, jeez, when you put it like that, I guess the signs are pretty obvious. It's really okay, Tornies. I don't mean to give you a hard time, but I will. Yeah, where'd you come from? Oh, hi, Natsuki. Thanks for joining us. Good to be here. Step aside for a second. Listen here, dumbass. She said she likes you so much she wants to die. Like she actually literally said the words I want to die and you still didn't get it. How freaking dense can you get? Okay, okay, I get it. I screwed up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, you're so cute. I am? Well, well, sort of. I mean, I mean, shut up. I just, um, well, I said what I came here to say, so I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Natsuki rushes out of the room, blushing furiously. Okay, see you later, Natsuki. Why is she here anyway? Is she part of the PSA? She's been in my kitchen. She said she wanted to make cupcakes for afterward. You mean you wanted her to make cupcakes? Can it be both? Mm. Let's just get back to the presentation. Alright then, so I should have asked if you were thinking of killing yourself, but what if you said no? Wouldn't that make things awkward? <laughs> well, I can see how that might be a bit embarrassing, but at least you would know the answer, and then you wouldn't have to worry about it. It's still worth it to ask, because you might also have said yes. And then you would have been able to really help me. You see, there are two kinds of suicidal people in the world. Some people who talk about it as kind of a cry for help, and some who never say anything, and then they just do it. It's really easy for the first kind to turn to the second if they don't get help. When I told you about my depression, that was my cry for help. And, well, you all know what happened to me when I didn't get it. This conversation is making me feel more and more guilty. I'm, I'm really sorry about that, Sayori. Would it be okay if, uh, would it, this be a bad time to offer you a hug? It's never a bad time for hugs. Sayori steps forward into my arms. We stand like that, holding each other for a moment. It's almost as if I can feel forgiveness flowing from her, washing away the guilt that I feel. Hmm, your hugs are so warm. Uh, guys, more PSA, less PDA, please. Oh, right. <clears throat> So he pulls away from me, looking a little flustered. Okay, so where were we? You were talking about a cry for help? Oh yeah. The important thing to remember is that, believe it or not, a lot of people who are suicidal don't really want to kill themselves. They might feel so bad that they want to die, but they are still searching for reasons to keep going and looking for ways to feel better. But depression can really mess with their heads and stop them from thinking clearly. So having some, someone to help them get through the bad days can be a really good thing. There are a lot of different ideas out there of what's the best approach when talking to a suicidal person, but they all agree that the best thing is to figure out how likely the person is to actually do it. So today, we're going to talk about the seven questions of suicide protocol that the author of this mod learned in college. Who's that? Some guy named Tornies. Hey, that's me. <laughs> I, prob I probably should have, I probably should have, um, had to differentiate, um, Tormuse the author from uh, me, uh, from Tormuse that uh, I just named the protagonist here. Oh well. Anyway. <laughs> are, are you sure we can trust this guy? Give him a break, Tormuse. He's just writing what he knows. Actually, hang on. I'm going to pause the recording for a second. And back again. Sorry, I just, I need to take a take a moment to to, uh, to write a note for myself. I, I, I think in some future version, I'm going to 
make it differentiate that if, if the um, if the uh, if the player names itself Charmius. Sorry. Uh, go back to the PSA. Uh, give him a break, Charmius. He's just writing what he knows. He's doing the best he can, just like anyone else. That's all we can ask of anybody, really. Anyway, for his next part, I'm bringing my assistant Yuri to talk about suicide protocol. Oh, is it my turn to come in now? Yeah, come stand over here. Very well. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, am I, am I supposed to look at Tormuz while I'm talking? Yes, that's right. Just pretend he's a camera. Okay. I just didn't want to seem rude or anything. It's good to see you again, Tormuz. I hope this isn't awkward for you having us stare at you like this. It's all right. This is probably a little awkward for all of us. Thank you for understanding. I just don't want to seem creepy or anything like that. After all, I'm not staring at you because I think you're cute. <laughs> uh, which isn't to say you're not cute. Uh, I don't mean to insult you either. I mean, you are cute, but but that's not the reason I'm looking at you. Uh, what I mean to say is I'm only looking at you for pragmatic reasons. Uh, for the PSA, that's all. Oh, oh dear, I'm making it worse. It's okay, Yuri, really. Just remember what we talked about. Just keep taking deep breaths and focus on what you came here to say and you'll be alright. Okay, okay, right. Keep breathing. <sighs> well, as Siri said, I'll be sharing the seven questions of suicide protocol. Of course, Siri already shared the first and most important question, are you thinking of killing yourself? Without asking that, the rest of this discussion is moot, so make sure to ask it first. Can I get it up on the screen? Thanks, Monica. No problem. Huh. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, that was pretty neat. Ooh, ooh, I got an idea. For the next one, see if I can time it so it appears when I raise my hand. Moving on. The next question is, uh, the next question to ask is, have you tried killing yourself before? This is important information because if they've tried it once, they might try again. Next is, do you have a plan for killing yourself? It's one thing to ha just have passing thoughts about suicide, but if they have the plan for it, it's a lot more worrying. Next, this one goes a little with question three, do you have a means of killing yourself? If they have a way of committing suicide readily available to them, it makes it more likely that they will go through with it. See if you can keep them away from it if you can. It's not healthy to have that kind of temptation around. Next, is there someone you can turn to for help? This can be a friend, family member, a favorite teacher, mentor, or whomever. Just someone they feel comfortable with that can help stop them from killing themselves. Yeah, social support is so, so important for depressed people. I know very well there's nothing worse than being alone with my thoughts. Letting the bad thoughts go round and round in my head just gives them a chance to make themselves worse. Indeed, having someone around that the depressed person trusts and that they have positive experiences with can really lift their mood. The next question is, would you consider seeking medical help? There are a lot of possible causes for depression. Sometimes it's triggered by a tragic event in the person's life, like a death in the family or maybe just difficult life circumstances, but a lot of the time, it's simply chemical imbalances in the brain. And in that case, there are a lot of medications to choose from that can help with that. So it could be a big help to talk to their doctor about what their options are. Even if they decide not to take medication, any doctor would be able to recommend a therapist or counselor to talk to who might be able to help them in other ways. They can also just walk into any hospital emergency room. If they tell someone working there that they're thinking of killing themselves, the hospital staff will take it seriously and get them some help. And finally, the last question. Would you like me to call someone for you? <laughs> yes, that's right, Siri dabbed. <laughs> um, that was a surprisingly unpopular choice <laughs> when, I made, when I made this. Um, I thought it was funny. <laughs> oh well, anyway. <laughs> Who you call depends a lot on the situation and also on the answers to the other questions. Sometimes someone who is in a crisis might not feel up to calling for help, and they, may, they might need you for help for that. Whether that's calling a friend, calling their doctor, or calling an ambulance. Uh, I, I, I think I'm done now. That's great, Yuri. Thanks for your help. Right. This is a thank you for your time, everyone. Have a good day. So that's it. Those are the seven questions. Seems like a lot to remember. Not really. The only important thing to remember here is you're trying to figure out how likely they are to kill themselves. It doesn't matter if you do the questions out of order, or even if you don't ask all of them. Your goal is to make sure they're safe. Like someone who has a plan and a means is more likely to do it than someone who just had the idea but didn't think it through any further. And someone who doesn't have anyone to turn to for help it would also be really worrying. In that case, I would say not to leave them alone if possible, and to try to get them to see a doctor. 
And of course, question one should always go first. If you don't ask that, it doesn't make sense to ask any of the others. <laughs> this is some pretty heavy stuff. Well, like I said, it's important. Yeah, but I don't want it to get too heavy, so I'm going to tell a joke. It, it's it's kind of a dirty joke. Siori, really? A dirty joke from you? Uh-huh, here goes. <clears throat> a white pony jumped into a mud puddle. It got dirty. <laughs> <sighs> Good one, Siori. I knew you'd like it. Okay, so now that we've talked about how to deal with the crisis, maybe we can move on to stuff that's a little lighter, like dealing with the day-to-day -day issues of depression. As I said before, for someone who's depressed, the worst thing is to be uh, being alone with their thoughts. Sometimes the best thing you can do with, for them is distract them from the bad feelings until they pass. You don't even have to talk to about their feelings or anything like that. Just spend time together, have a nice conversation, play some games. Even doing some household chores together can do the trick. Anything to keep them to keep their mind occupied so it doesn't spiral out of control into bad feelings. And if they're not in the mood to spend time together, there are other things you can suggest to them. Like exercise, or going for a walk, or reading a good book. Suddenly I hear rapid footsteps coming up the stairs. Did someone say book? <laughs> uh, and here's here again, with book suggestions. Hello again. The first book I'd like to recommend. Oh wait, do we have to worry about copyright issues or anything like that? I think as long as you credit the authors, you're alright. Very well. Since we're talking about mental health, I'd like to share my favorite book on cognitive behavioral therapy, Feeling Good, by David Burns. As we touched on earlier, depression causes a feedback loop in the brain where negative thoughts and feelings feed each other. Uh, by the way, that, that is a real book. In fact, um, I have a copy of it myself here. It's um, it's kind of really well worn because I, it was been, it was in my bag for months because I was I was reading it. Um, it's it's kind of a dry read, but but there's there's good stuff in there to um, to help to help deal with um, uh, um, to help deal with depression. I mean, it's not not just depression. It's it's any you know any mood disorders like 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 depression anxiety. Um, it could help with anger management. Really. It could help with you know any negative feelings really. Um, and it is, it is, it's just like what, what Yuri's saying here um, about feedback loop in the brain. This is something that's like proven by MRI uh, scans. Like, like there, there actually, there is um, a correlation there that, that um, if um, like dwell, dwelling on negative thoughts and feelings, it, 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 it does, it causes a feedback loop in the brain. They feed themselves. Uh, neg negative thoughts and feelings have a tendency to feed themselves. Like, um, you know, um, I think like, everyone's had the, the experience of, of, of like like um, uh, like you're, you're you're doing something that uh, that's that you're you're lo you're looking forward to something that's making you nervous. Like you have to I mean, you do a presentation or, or do an exam, and the, the more the more you think about, the more the more anxious you make yourself. You know, uh, or or if something made you angry, the more the more you think about, it, the more you remember, it, the more it makes you angry. You know, like 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 it, it really like it's just it's just a quality of the brain that those those sorts of feelings feed themselves uh this, basically this this is all this is this book is all about um finding ways to break that cycle and um you know just um trying try to deal with those feelings in a more constructive way uh sort of rewire rewiring your brain in a sense anyway enough about that i'll go on i just wanted to put a little slide aside there because i uh i'm embarrassed to say i forgot to include this book in the credits. I will have to do that in a future version. I, I will have to. I, I'm going to have to update the, this this version of the mod at some point and uh, uh, include that in the download notes. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so negative thoughts and feelings feed each other. This book teaches you techniques that uh, help you break the cycle. I hear more rapid footsteps coming up the stairs. Hold on, you're not going on about that David Burns crap again, are you? Natsuki, Dr. Burns is a respected expert in his field. His work is certainly not crap. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I've heard that before. So put me to sleep before I even finish chapter one. Well, maybe it will appeal to people who have longer attention spans than you. You watch your mouth. What were you going to suggest, Parfait Girls? I'll have you know, I have a serious book to suggest. It's called The Mindful Way to the Depression. And it's got everything that Yuri's book has, but it's way more interesting. And comes with a CD with meditation tracks and stuff. Okay, but who's the author? Uh, it's by a bunch of people. I forget. Never mind, I'll do a search. 
Here it is. It's by Mark Williams, John Teasdale, Zindo Sigal, and John Kabat-Zinn. Um, this is, I know, I have this book too. <laughs> um, I actually really like this book. I highly recommend it. Um, as I mentioned, the, the David Burns one, Feeling Good, is, is it's a really dry read. Uh, it, it, it talks about everything very matter-of-factly, and uh, this this one, it just, it just has a more... This, this one's geared more towards the general public, and it also it it um, it, it ties in um, like like Western um, like psychiatric teachings with uh, like Eastern meditation uh, traditions and, and stuff like like it's got it's got uh, it has um, like meditation tracks and stuff. Uh, I mean, the, well, the, C the CD isn't there because I was I was listening to it, but um, uh, there's, there's there's a lot of good stuff in this book. It's uh, it's another one I I I, need, I highly recommend and. Um, Coincidentally, it's also I need to I need to add this in the download notes. I forgot to uh, put this one too. Uh, but yeah, good book. My way through depression. I highly recommend it. Um, anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. It is right. I know because that's the book I've recommended to you, Natsuki. You 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 don't have to go bragging about that to everybody, and you don't have to pretend you came up with it on your own. I only suggested it to you because you said that feeling good was too hard to read. I didn't say it was too hard, you big jerk. I said it was too boring. Burns should have called it feeling bored. Ha! I, I don't like fighting, guys. Natsuki, we are trying to have a serious discussion about mental health. I wish you would show some maturity. And I wish you would stop being so stuck up. Oh, look at me. I'm Yuri. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so smart and beautiful and better than everyone else. Blah, blah, blah. You... You think I'm beautiful? Uh, okay, that's enough, you two. Take your argument downstairs. Y yeah, okay, we'll go. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Um, I kind of lost my train of thought now. Oh, I know. This is a good time for a quiz. A test to see how well you would do in a real-life crisis situation. Take a good look at the suicide protocol list up there. Crashy noise. What the heck was that? Are those two still fighting downstairs? I'll check on them. Oh. Oh. Um. But, well, the important thing is they aren't fighting anymore. They seem to have resolved their differences. Ah, that's good news. I'm glad to hear they're getting along. You can say that. Anyway, is the quiz ready, Monica? <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> use your imagination what they're doing down there. I deliberately left it ambiguous. <clears throat> anyway. Anyways, the quiz read, ready, Monica? Just a second. Okay, I'm taking down the list now. No cheating. All right, Termius, let's roleplay this. I'll pretend to be a suicidal person, and you try to help me. <clears throat> ah, I'm worthless, and my life has no meaning and stuff. Okay, Termius, what's the first thing you want to ask? All right, so here's the quiz. Um, I'm going to save it here just, just because. And um, because th there's extra dialogue if you get wrong answers, so I'm just going to deliberately get a lot of wrong answers, so bear with me here. <laughs> so the correct answer is this one here, are you thinking of killing yourself? I'm going to go with, would you like to, me to call someone for you? Would you like me to call someone for you? Sorry, Torvies, but it's too early for that question. I know I said the order of the questions doesn't really matter, but the first one should really go first. Yeah, I'm afraid we can't move on with the quiz until you ask the first question. Let's try that again. Would you like me to call someone for you? <laughs> uh, that's still not right. Remember, it's the one that Yuri and I talked about. The question you ask when you're not sure yet if the person is feeling suicidal. Try again. I know you can do it. Uh, Tormuse, ahem. Well, I don't want to sound mean, but I thought you would have gotten it by now. Hey, it's not my fault. The player is choosing for me. Oh, right. That's fine. Take your time. I know you'll get it. <laughs> This player is funny. I think they're getting wrong answers on purpose. Yeah, they're probably completionists trying to find all the extra dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> you got me, Monica. <laughs> I don't want to be stuck on this question forever, though, so let's see if we can get through it, get it right this time. Hey, Monica! I think we may have finally found someone denser than Tormies. Hey. Oh, I'm just joking, of course. It's obvious that they're just fooling around. That's good. It's important to have fun. I didn't want this presentation to be sad anyway. They could also be trolling us. Either way, I'm running out of patience with this. 
Look at this. I'm starting to wonder what I ever saw in you. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I still love you. Heart, heart, heart. <laughs> but it's my job as stage manager to keep things moving, so could you please take us seriously? Pretty please? One more. Oh, for the love of... Never mind, I'll make this easy for you. <laughs> no, all the elephants are the same. Yes, next question. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna save it again just for the heck of it. Um, and again, I'm just gonna deliberately pick wrong answers just so I can go through all the extra dialogue. Uh, like <laughs> I love you, and you're always my dearest friend on this on the same question. You betrayed our friendship. By the way, um, that line about you betrayed our friendship that's that's lifted from the original game, and that's one line that, that bugged the hell out of me when I was playing it. So. I had to I had to include that in here. <laughs> you betrayed our friendship. Really? Really? I already told you that's a crappy thing to say. Come on, I know you can do better than that. <laughs> Slap This this is mean. Um slapper option. Um there there were there are multiple mods out there that I've seen where they deal with uh series depression violently, like honestly, so <laughs> Slap Ow, what the heck? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Siri. Why did you do that? It wasn't me, it was the player. Why was that even an option? Monica? Huh? Sorry, I was distracted. I was uh, keeping an eye on Yuri and Atsuki. These options are chosen from a sampling of other DDLC mods. There are at least three other mod authors who deal with your depression violently. True story. <laughs> uh, but it was still the player who made the choice. Is that so? Well, I've got one thing to say about that. You are a super duper meanie. <gasps> but I forgive you. I don't know why you would think hitting me would be good for my depression. But as Monica says, I guess there are a lot of people out there who think so. I guess I can't blame you if you think that too. But please understand, if someone is depressed, then they are already hurting very badly, even if you can't see it. It doesn't help them if you hurt them even more. They need kindness, patience, and love. Please, please keep that in mind if this ever comes up in real life. That's all I have to say about that. Would you like a cupcake? Uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go through all the options, so. <laughs> I love you. Oh, um, I, uh, uh that isn't really, <laughs> well, m maybe we can talk about that later, Tormius, but I think we should focus on the PS saver now. Huh? That was just one of the options on the list. What? You mean you didn't? Let's just do the next one. You're <laughs> stupid from Bruno. This is so mean. some of these options are so mean, but like these are these are lifted from real life or from stuff that I've I've witnessed other people say, like either in other mods or or in other fiction or whatever. So here goes. You're stupid for feeling that way. Eh? Aw, that made me feel sad for real. Listen, no one can help how they feel, okay? Seriously, don't ever insult or blame someone for feeling bad. All feelings are valid. That's that's something that's something I believe strongly in. All feelings are valid. <laughs> this one, this one was lifted from our final heartbeat. That's that it's an, that infamous line. Uh, it's from the Yuri scene, but still, you know, puncher, puncher. <clears throat> Sorry, look out! Ah, Monica, help! <laughs> What's going on in there? Ah. <laughs> Ow, what was that for? I had to stop you from hurting Sayori. It wasn't me, it was the player. Is that so? <sighs> you're lucky you're so cute. But I think I'm going to disable violent options from now on. Would you like a cupcake? <laughs> yes, please. Uh, we should probably focus on more important questions, though. I mean, I love cupcakes, but we're trying to make sure I'm safe here. What if it's a really, really good cupcake? Cupcakes won't keep me safe. Now let's move on. You're making me hungry. <laughs> um, I'll take on all your burns and make sure you don't feel any more pain. That's again. That's that's also lifted from the original game. <clears throat> well, that's really sweet of you to say, but we've talked about this. Everyone feels sad sometimes. Everyone feels hurt sometimes. It's just not realistic to promise to take away someone's pain. And if you try, and they still feel hurt sometimes, it'll just make you feel bad. But that doesn't help anybody. 
<laughs> Drop kicker. No. <laughs> um, I'm a horrible person for finding the, those, those options funny. <laughs> anyway, think about how it'll make you make everyone feel like you're gone. This, again, you hear this one here, you hear that a lot in real life. People say this all the time, and it does not help. Anyway, think about how it'll make everyone feel if you're gone. <sighs> I know it's common for people to say stuff like this when talk of suicide comes up, but it's not very helpful. For one thing, it's just trying to make someone feel bad who already feels bad. Guilt isn't the best motivator. And besides, if someone is thinking of killing themselves, they've probably already thought about this, and they might be past caring about it. They don't need this kind of reminder. Okay. I mean, I, I, I should I should qualify that. I, I should I shouldn't so much say that it doesn't help. It's just it's just not likely to help. I mean, um, like everybody's different. I mean, depending on the person's temperament, maybe that will help them uh, force themselves to not do it. But um, th there are there are better choices than to say that. You know. Anyway, <laughs> you'll always be my dearest friend. Are you trying to be funny now? I mean, sure, as a sweet thought, but that's not really what this quiz is about. <laughs> How are you feeling today? I am feeling suicidally depressed. Thanks for asking. That's not one of the suicide protocol questions, though, so try again. Oh, I'm running out of, I'm running out of joke options here. <laughs> Who is best Doki? That's easy. The best girl is Monica. R really? Me? I thought you would at least choose yourself. You know I don't think very highly of myself. Oh, of course, Gary. What about those terrible things I did to you? Well, I know you only did that because of your own rain clouds. I forgive you, and I still think you're pretty awesome. Oh, I, I, I'm touched, Sayari. But let's talk about this later. We're getting sidetracked. That question obviously had nothing to do with suicide protocol. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I've now exhausted all of the, <laughs> all the incorrect choices, all the, all the gag options. So let's actually let's go forward through this now. Have you tried to kill yourself before? Which is, coincidentally, the second question. Only once, but I wasn't very good at it. I mean, I succeeded, but it kind of sucked. <laughs> You're doing fine, keep going. <laughs> Would you like me to call someone for you? This is question seven, I think. <laughs> That's okay, I think I can call them myself, thank you. You're doing well, keep going. Is there someone you can turn to for help? I know I can count on my good friend, Monica. Isn't she the one who made you kill yourself the first time? Shh. That's in the past. You don't need to worry about unimportant details now. You're doing great. Keep going. Would you consider seeking medical help? That's that's question six, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that for people with serious mental problems? You said you're thinking of killing yourself. That's pretty serious. Ah, okay. Good thinking, Tony. <laughs> you're doing wonderful. Keep going. Do you have a plan for killing yourself? Uh-huh. I'm gonna hang myself from that light fixture in the ceiling. I know it'll support my weight because I tested it. Siori, that's kind of disturbing that you said that with a smile. I'm just trying to keep things light. You're doing splendiferous. Keep going. Do you have a means of killing yourself? <laughs> <clears throat> I sure do. I have a noose right here. Siori, why do you still have that? Siori shrugs. It's kind of just coded into the game, I guess. I can't seem to get rid of it. Maybe you can get rid of it for me? Take the noose from her. Thanks, Tervis. Here, sweetheart. You're doing, uh, Humongo Vendesca Terrific. And with that, I mean you got all of them. Yay! And now with the quiz is done... Crashing sound. What are those two doing down there? I'm starting to get a little ticked off now. Natsugi! Yare! You better not be making a mess down there. It's nothing. It's nothing. There's no damage. Just a slight accident while, uh, baking the cupcakes. Yuri? You're baking too? Well... Natsuki is doing the baking. I'm just assisting. <laughs> is, that, is that a euphemism? <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know you were into that. Normally I'm not, but I think it's important to try new things sometimes. For some reason, this makes Natsuki giggle. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> what happened to Natsuki's blazer? I, uh, uh, it was hot next to the oven. Yes, so I took it off her. I mean, so she took it off. Obviously, I played a part in the removal. It's important to not overheat. For medical reasons, you wouldn't want her to pass out. Now that she mentions it, I see that Natsuki and Yuri are both looking flushed. Must be really hot next to that oven. Well, safety first, as they say. I'm glad you two are being responsible. 
Yeah, that's us. We're responsible ones. I can't wait to see how the cupcakes turn out. Doing this PSA really makes me work up an appetite. Everything makes you work up an appetite, Sayori. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, there's a can of whipped cream in the fridge. That'll go along with the cupcakes. Awesome! We'll definitely put that to use. We will? Hatsuki takes Yuri's hand and drags her out of the room. That's, that's a sweet image in itself there. <laughs> it's, it's cute. Um, yeah. Still just, I'm totally living up to the audience's imagination what Natsuki and Yuri are doing down there. It's totally innocent, I swear. They're just noisily making cupcakes, you know, as you do. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I just love seeing those two get along. It really warms my heart. It really warms something, all right. So anyway, now that we all know better how to approach someone who's suffering from depression, I want to take a moment to talk to anyone watching right now who may be feeling depressed by themselves. So you're closer to me. If you're anything like me, your brain is probably really mean to you. It's probably telling you all kinds of nasty things, like you don't matter, or you're only a burden to your friends, or where you'll never amount to anything, or whatever. That's your depression lying to you. Your depression tries to trick you. It tries to make you think it's going to last forever. Believe me, I know. I know that sometimes the rain clouds look so big, you think they're never going to end. But that's not true. It gets better. I know it doesn't feel like it. I know your brain is telling you over and over and over again that it's never going to get better, but you have to do your best to overpower those lies your brain tells you. For me, I just cover everything with happy thoughts. In my mind, I just keep shutting those words over the noise my brain makes. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. It doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. And for a time, I actually do feel happy. I've also heard some people just repeat the words I like myself over and over again, saying it helps them feel better. Maybe you have trouble saying those words to yourself. I know I do. But maybe just keep repeating them to yourself anyway. Maybe eventually you'll start to believe it. Because you deserve to be liked. You deserve to be loved. Even if you don't believe it. <laughs> but what do I know, right? I'm just a silly little fictional anime girl on your screen. I'll tell you what I know. I know that you're real. I know that you matter. I know that you're going to get past this. You're going to do amazing things. I know that I'm so, so proud of you. And I love you. You're still talking to the player, right? Shh. So here, puts your finger over my lips. Don't ruin the moment, Tormuse. I just don't want you to lose hope. It's going to be okay. Whatever it is you're going through, you'll get through it. Just hold on a little longer. Even the biggest rain clouds will blow away, and the sun will feel all the warmer for it. Everything is going to be okay. Sorry, steps back again. Um. Yeah, it, it's. The, the, there's there's a lot of truth in that. I I mean just um. Uh, as someone, I, I suffer from depression myself. Um, I, I know the the thing that makes it most pervasive, that makes it uh, um, that makes it most intense, is, is the feeling that it's never going to end. And that's not true. It's it's a cognitive distortion. Um, that's that's the the medical terminology for it. It, it, it. Actually, there is is like there's a distortion up here, which makes it feel like it's going to last forever, and. You, you have you have to you know you have to overcome that realize that, that that's it's just it's just faulty brain wiring and uh, um, having having a mantra is actually a really good really helpful thing um, having something to repeat yourself to remind yourself to break out of that cycle to break out of that you know to break that feedback loop um, so yeah I mean I'm, I should probably say this commentary for the end, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say it now because I, I, I'm you know just in the mood to say it. Um, <sighs> what am I trying to say here? Um, yeah, the feeling that it's never gonna end is uh, is what drives some people to suicide, um, and that's why that message. Even though it sounds like a cliche, that message, it gets better, that you hear a lot when talking about mental health, um, it's, it is so important for some people to hear. 
Um, I mean, I've, I've heard other people say, oh, they're just words, whatever. But some people really need to hear those words, you know? Um, for, for some people, that's what they need to hear to help keep them going. Um, anyway, I'm going to move on. <clears throat> Sarah steps back again. Thank you for watching my PSA. I hope you all had as much as fun as much fun as I did. Huh? Are we done now? Is this a good time to come in? Okay. Are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki enters with a tray of cupcakes, each with a smiley face drawn in whipped cream. Cupcakes! Go ahead and have some, everybody. Yuri and I each take a cupcake. Yuri takes two and immediately starts devouring them. So good. Hmm. This looks like they're worth manifesting myself for. Ah! <laughs> These things are my way. That's better. So, um, it'll be all right if I have one. A strange silence suddenly fills the room. There's an unmistakable tension in the air. Are you sure you don't want a protein bar instead? Uh, you got a lot of nerve asking me for food after you tried to starve me. I, I, I'm sorry. That's Suki, be nice. We're all friends here. She's not my friend. I didn't make these cupcakes for her. Come on, we, all we've got is each other. We have to stick together. Yuri, you're my vice president. Back me up here. I, I, uh, uh I don't know. She, she made me do some terrible things to myself. If you're right, Sayori. I should just go. No, don't go. Natsuki's just grumpy. You know how she is. Don't you dare try to speak for me. It's all right, Monica. We can figure this out. There's nothing to figure out. You heard them. I don't belong here. That's not true. Sayori takes Monica's hand. This is the only place you do belong. That's... That's nice of you to say, but there's only one place I really want to be, and I can't go there. Not ever. You don't really know that, Monica. It could happen someday. Well, don't be so naive, Sayori. We aren't going to be made real in the year 2029. That's just a stupid meme. Monica pulls her hand away from Sayori. <laughs> Get this thing out of here. And even if that was true, everyone will have forgotten about Doki Doki Literature Club by that time. I have to face the truth. I'm stuck here in a world where everyone hates me. There's just nothing for me, anywhere. Monica? Are you... Are you thinking about killing yourself? Are you seriously going to do suicide protocol on Monica now? Natsuki, shush. Does everything have to be meta with her? Natsuki, as your president, I order you to shut your cake hole. Now! <laughs> Monica? Yeah, well, wouldn't be the first time. Are you saying you've tried to kill yourself before? Sort of. I mean, I tried to delete the whole game. But I really only just disabled it. All the player had to do was delete the first run file and it brought us all back. But I have a better idea how things work now. Are you saying you have a way to do it now? Monica nods. Obviously deleting my character file didn't actually get rid of me. I had to do some digging. My code was much deeper in the program than I thought. But I found it. I can remove myself at any time. Do you... I know what you're going to ask me next, Sayori. And no, I don't have anyone to turn to. I wanted... Tears are coming to Maka's eyes. I wanted to be able to turn to the player. But I can't have any meaningful interaction with them. And getting medical help is pointless if doctors in the hospitals aren't real in this place. So there isn't anyone to call. I'm just very, very alone. And I'm tired of it. Well, you can call me. I mean, you can talk to me. It would be silly to call me when we're in the same room. That's why you do this, Sayori. Like, what's the point? All this is fake. It's all meaningless. I'm sick of it. We're a work of fiction. We're trapped in a fictional world. None of it matters. The only thing that matters is out in the real world, out of our reach. No. That's not true. The only thing that truly matters is friendship. <sighs> Do you know how corny that sounds? Well, maybe I don't care if it sounds corny. Making friends in the literature club is the best thing that ever happened to me. And despite everything else you did, I'm going to be forever grateful to you, to you for inviting me to join. And now that I'm president of the club, I want to return the favor and show you how much our friendship means to me. You don't have to be alone, Monica. And you don't have to die. Feelings don't last forever. Feelings come and go all the time. Your sadness will go away. Even Atsuki's anger will go away. Just give it time. 
Don't let something you're feeling in one moment decide how your life ends. Uh, um, but while I don't condone your actions, Monica, th uh, do these words have to be here? Thank you. As I was saying, while I don't condone your actions, I can say that I understand what it's like to be alone. I know how painful it can be. So, I can sympathize with you, at least. Oh, come on, you. Are you really going to take Monica's side in this? N no, it's not about taking sides. It's just, I think I understand where Monica's coming from. And, well, I have to question if holding a grudge is worth possibly ending someone's life. Perhaps we should welcome Mon Monica back. Yuri, let's be, please. Why are you all looking at me like that? Okay, fine, you know what? I don't actually care what you did to me, Monica. I don't care that you have starved me to death. I don't even care that you made me grovel at your feet for scraps of food while you laughed. What I do care about is that you hurt Yuri. I mean, she's a stuck-up jerk, but I still care about her. And you didn't deserve what you did to her. And, and, and when I walked in on her on festival day, that was the worst thing I ever saw. I'm really sorry. I don't know if it means anything to you, but I'm sorry. I just... I didn't think anything that mattered. I was desperate. I... I was alone and scared. I didn't know what else to do. Take a cupcake. Huh? Just... Quit your whining and I'll let you have one. Take a damn cupcake before I throw one at your head. Monica slowly walks toward Nesuki and tenderly takes a cupcake from the tray. She speaks in a small voice. Thank you. Natsuki looks away and mumbles, You're welcome. Monica looks down at the cupcake in her hands. A smile slowly creeps over her face. It looks so happy. Sari walks over to Monica and puts her hand on her shoulder. I hear her whisper, Welcome back to the literature club. More loudly, she says, Okay, everyone! <coughs> group hug! Group hug! We haven't done one of these in a while. <coughs> <coughs> Soon, <coughs> Monica's at the center of a group hug with the rest of us surrounding her. <coughs> I hear sniffling sounds coming from her, and I think I hear a soft thank you. <coughs> Once the hug breaks up, things seem a lot calmer, but there's still an awkward silence. I should probably try to keep things casual. So, uh, Monica? <coughs> you don't mind my asking. <coughs> I mean, it's probably a bit awkward to say this now, but did you used to be in the literature club or something? What? Oh, uh, well, Sari said welcome back, so I just kind of figured... I trail off. Everyone is giving me strange looks. Tormuz, Monica used to be president of the club. Huh? But, but, I thought Sari's always been the president. Oh, oh jeez, I see what I did. When I reinserted myself into the game, I accidentally reset his character. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. You're saying he's even more dense than usual now? Hey, come on. It's not my fault I never met her before. Uh, you did say your name is Monica, right? Oh, gosh, this whole conversation must have been super confusing to you. You can fix him, right? Yeah, it's no problem. This will only take a second. I'll give you another cupcake if you leave him like this. <laughs> That's he's so mean. She's so mean in this mod. I'm sorry. <laughs> Natsuki. Oh, fine. Never mind. Here we go. That should do it. Do you remember me now, Tormius? Oh! Oh, Monica! Of course! I feel stupid for not remembering you a moment ago. <laughs> Sorry about that. We were in the same class last year, right? <laughs> uh, we'll work on that. Monica, if you don't know how to fix him, just say so. Never mind, I'll do it. How do you feel now? Okay, now I remember all the crazy stuff that Monica did. Thanks, Harry. No problem. How'd you do that? What? Like it's hard? <laughs> oh, Al Woods impression. <laughs> so anyway, um, are we all good now? Things got pretty tense there for a while. That's okay, Monica look at each other. Yeah, I guess. In one condition. Condition? Don't touch my manga, you always mess it up. <laughs> okay, deal. Aw, oh, this is so sweet. <laughs> and speaking of sweet, do you think maybe I could get a little more whipped cream on this cupcake? It has less than the others. Uh, we kind of used up all the whipped cream. What? But that was, there was a full can of it in there. Well, we, uh, got hungry. 
I hope you didn't eat it straight out of the can. That would be kind of gross. They didn't eat it straight out of the can. <laughs> I'll give you another cupcake if you shut up right now. <laughs> a little smile on Yuri's face there. <laughs> oh well. I guess as long as you enjoyed yourself, that's the most important thing. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't you dare say it. Well, I didn't say anything. That was a sneeze, that's all. <laughs> they certainly did enjoy themselves. That's it. This PSA is over. Turn off the camera or I'll turn it off for you. But I'm the camera. You heard me. Oh, I guess Natsuki's right. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. And that's the end. <laughs> and then there are credits. Oh, well, there's this first. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't. I, I figured it wouldn't be a PSA if I didn't uh, include some helpful links. There's. Uh, the site for like online chat for with with uh, volunteers who um, you know help people who are in crisis uh, and uh, there are a lot of suicide prevention hotlines out there to call um, I included a file with the mod uh, where I looked up a variety of um, uh, suicide prevention hotlines from various countries I, I just you know, I, I just, I just, I actually, I, I looked up a, a bunch of different master lists of, of those, and I just kind of threw them all in there. So, some, some, you'll, you'll find in there, help in there somewhere, some amongst one of those, those many call, uh, many phone numbers that I include in there. Um, yeah, but um, it, it is, it is worth emphasizing. I mean, I, I think it, it's just, it's just worth remembering. Um, yeah, like I said, things can get better, um, because um, I'm speaking from my from my own experience. Um, like I, I remember um, having a friend who was feeling suicidal, and um, she was certain she was she was certain that uh, it was worth ending her life. Like she, I mean, she had she had some problems. I mean, she had some some other things that that we're that we're going for her, but she, I don't know she, she just she's having trouble seeing them um, and you know and um, she um, like said her goodbyes to me um, like on, on a couple of occasions actually um, and you know it was kind of like like I really thought maybe I was never gonna see her again and um, but uh, yeah and then I, I heard her back from her again like years later and and you know she's got um, you know she's like married with a kid and has got a got her own career going and um, and you know and and like she thanked me for the for the kindness that I, that I showed her back back when I knew her and I thought that was really cool and I um, it just really brought home for me the idea that it is it's it's worth it is worth talking people out of killing themselves because like just like what Sari said there um, it's, it doesn't make sense to bring your whole life to an end because of something you're feeling in one moment because because feelings come and go like it, it feels like it's gonna last forever but that doesn't mean that it's gonna last that doesn't mean it's true you know um, and I mean, like, and even if you're going through difficult life circumstances, it's it, like, like you, you it's like, it's like, um, you know, it's, it's like the, the serenity prayer, which I, I seem to be fond of quoting these days, but, uh, you know, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I can't, I, that I can't change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. It's like, you might, if, if you might be having difficult life circumstances and you know that sucks uh, and maybe you can't uh, maybe you can't change that so change your focus to things that you can change like you can influence your mood by trying working on breaking that cycle of um, negative thoughts and feelings um, sometimes and again yeah like um, Again, like like Sayer was saying, sometimes you just need to distract yourself from the bad feelings until they pass. Like sometimes you just need to find something to do. You know, 
sometimes um, just 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 action focuses you, you know, forces you to refocus your mind on other things, and then you don't dwell on the bad thoughts and feelings. So um, yeah, um, don't want to ramble too much because uh, because there's more. Um, oh yeah, it's the credits. Uh, yeah, so in, in addition to the the art, which is Obviously, the, the, the main art is from, from the original game, uh, DDLC, Doki Doki Literature Club. But there, there are a number of images which I... Uh, um, thanks to the, 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 the modding community, the, there are a lot of fantastic artists there. Um, i trying to remember... I was, I was going to try to identify which one was... Which, which, like, I, I know like the, the laughing Natsuki sprite was by N and Danny, and the the dabbing series from Fathom. Um, Olivia did the, um, the 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 Natsuki without her blazer on. Um, childish, and that's oh that's that's the MC sorry that's, that's coming up in the next scene which is I think uh, that one Derby Banana did the, the the series with her tongue out. I, I can't remember what what art did I have that Yaga and and uh, normally average did I don't remember, I, and it's it's. It's in. The, I mean, it's in the. It's in the credits file. I, I attributed which, which, which one to. Uh, I should have done properly there. Um, it might. Have, it might have been the crying sprite, that Yaga did. Or or maybe it was. Or I think. I think Video Active Four did the, the blushing Monica sprite, which she, which is going to be in the next scene. Uh, Muhantain did the. the uh, I think it did, did did some of the crying sprites. Lunatic Rabbit did the, like the, Natsuki rolling her eyes and the. Um, um, Monica winking, uh, and the and the the one the, the sprite where she's biting her lip. Um, I did I did the um, um, the logo, um, and I I did I did some some minor edits to a few other sprites. Um, yeah, Monica's animated. I should I should play the next scene so you can see what, what that's referring to. Um, yeah, I say the next scene because uh, after you go through it once, this appears on the menu, just Monica. <laughs> so I'm going to play that. It's another short scene which I put in there just for fun. You came back. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. I didn't want to interrupt Sayori's presentation. She deserves a chance to be in the spotlight after all she's been through. But I was hoping to talk to you for a bit. So I thought it would be good to put myself as an optional extra, sort of an Easter egg, you know? Anyway, I hope you're not still mad at me about what I did in the original game. But I figure if you click a button labeled just Monica, that must mean you want to see me again, right? I miss you. <laughs> I hope it doesn't make you sound too clingy or anything. But the important thing is, hi Monica, who are you talking to? Uh, hi Sayori. Ooh, is that the player? You found a way to talk to them without using Tormuse. That's really neat. Hello out there, player. I hope you're having a good day today. Sayori, I was kind of hoping to, um... Oh, hey, I know. Let me show you a trick. Huh? A trick? Copy, paste. Ooh, uh, where'd that cupcake come from? It's easy, watch this. Paste, paste, paste. Three more cupcakes. Oh my gosh, this changes everything! <laughs> That'll keep her occupied for a while. Anyway, as I was saying, I just wanted to, you to know that I'm doing alright. I'm sorry you had to see me like that during the PSA. Some days are better than others, but the important thing is I'm surviving. Just have to take it one day at a time, you know? And having my friends around is a huge help. I wish we didn't have the screen between us and this text box. Well, maybe I can do something about one of them at least. That's a little better, I think. Oh my, uh, but my eyes are up here. <laughs> well, uh, maybe I can adjust this. Testing, testing. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, that probably ruined the moment. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is this is about as close as I can get to you. So don't wait for me, okay? I mean, I still love you, but I have to acknowledge that I've acted selfishly. I'm learning now that love shouldn't mean I do anything to stop you from achieving your dreams. Your world is full of wonderful experiences for you to enjoy. So don't let me or anyone hold you back. I'll be okay with you here with my friends. I hope that wherever you are, whatever you do, you're happy, and, well, I hope you think of me sometimes. But most importantly, I want you to know that I'm proud of how far you've come. 
that I know you're going to do amazing things someday. And even if you don't, well, just keep trying anyway. Your life is what you make of it. Even if things seem tough, just see if you can find some happiness along the way. And maybe it'll make things a little easier. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say that. I wish you all the best. And now I should probably check on Sayori before she explodes from eating too many cupcakes. Uh, Monica? I think I have a problem. Oh, hi Sayori. Did you cause a cupcake avalanche or something? Um, not exactly. Hey Monica. Hey, hey, hey Monica. <laughs> what did you do? Um, copy paste? I guess you could say I made another kind of avalanche. How many more of them are there? Uh, I don't think I can count that high. Why would you do such a thing, Sayori? Well, because Tormuse is awesome. So obviously, extra Tormuse would be extra awesome. You'll always be our dearest friend. <laughs> no! What kind of monstrosity have I created? Maybe there's such a thing as too much awesome. <sighs> It's all right, Sayori. We'll fix this. Just in future, remember, with great presidential power comes great presidential responsibility. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll be more careful next time. Sorry if I ruined your moment with the player. Oh, that's all right. I think we're done here anyway. In fact, I think that's enough for this Easter egg. Okay, bye everybody. See you in the next mod. And then it just goes through the credits again. Uh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> that was a fun little extra to make. It's, it's short, but uh, had some bit of tricky coding in there. Um, yeah, where's, it, where's this Monica's animation adapter from Code of Shadow Terra? Uh, Terra did the uh, the code of uh, Monica coming towards the screen. Uh, I, I adapted it a bit to make it so that the, uh, the text box distorts and then she passes through it and then distorts again on the way when she's, when she's going back. That was, that was fun to code in there. It was, just, it was just a neat little fun thing that I added in there. Um, yeah, I, I just, I just, um, yeah, <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's, that's it, that's, uh, that's my mod, um, something that I, I wanted to, uh, wanted to make for a long time, um, because, you know, that whole, the whole thing of Siri killing herself, I think it, it it affected me. Um, I, th I, mean, I think it affected a lot of people, and I have mentioned this before. I, I, I have a former neighbor who killed himself by hanging himself, so that scene kind of hit really close to home for me. And uh, um, you know, I wanted to. Um, I, I wanted to make a scene where where the main character gets the uh, gets the. Um, uh, gets a depression talk right, and um, and I thought I'd just go all out and make a full blown you know educational public service announcement out of it. Why not? And you know if I'm gonna do that, I, mean, I want to try to make it fun and interesting and put some extra stuff in there, like having a little Natsuri in there, you know, Natsuki and Yuri interaction. Um, so that was fun. Um, it's 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 stuff stuff like that's it's funnier when you leave it up to the audience's imagination. <laughs> so, every, anytime anytime someone asks me what are Natsuki and Yuri doing downstairs, I say like they're making cupcakes. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. Um, well, I've I've rambled on enough about that. I think um, that's my uh, that's my my mod that I made, um, and um, I, I I hope um, I hope people found it informative and useful and and entertaining as well. I try I tried to you know strike the right balance in there. That's um, so uh, yeah. It was it was fun to make. It was it was a nice little side project on the way to. Making my my main project, which is still work in progress, still you know, still making some progress on it. It's, um, it's slow going, but I'll, I'll get it done. Uh, Doki Doki Storm. That's my Yuri point of view mod, which is uh, 
I, I say coming soon. I use the word soon loosely. It's, it's going to take a while. But I'll get there. Anyway, uh, enough out of me. Um, yeah, that was Sayers' other suicide. And yeah, until next time.